The whole point of Ultra Kill is to use guns and get kills with them. That is literally the point of the game. But once you unlock a secret mode called Clash Mode, that changes the entire dynamic. It pretty much makes the game Crash Bandicoot. So of course, me being the rational gamer I am, I decided to beat Ultra Kill only in this mode. This was by far one of the biggest mistakes I have ever had, and it's just the first part of this series. So I'm going to be going through the prelude as well as Act 1. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourself. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. All right, guys, welcome to Clash Only Ultra Kill. This is the very first level 0-1, and this entire challenge was a whole lot of fun. I'm just going to say right now, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First thing I was just understanding was the mechanics. If you do a spin move on glass, it'll break, so that's why I kind of walked across that. But after that room is just this terrible hallway that makes you want to jump off a bridge. I died here maybe 20, 30 times just from pure agony, pure pain, just trying to get through it. Um, but after that, it's, it gets even better, guys, trust me, because there's three of them just waiting for you. Three stray just shooting their basketballs at you. I got a really lucky run here at the end. It's the only way to really pass these guys, but uh, here it is. Oh! Okay, there's one. There we go. Oh my gosh, give me that checkpoint. You'll be hearing that a lot more in this run, just the want to get a checkpoint and the happiness that overcomes me. But after this is just the malicious face or better known as Maurice. Uh, he wasn't too difficult. It just took a couple of tries. The one nice thing about this is the boss fights will be easy. How many deaths was that? 16 restarts. So uh, 16 deaths. My gosh. Next up, O-2, the meat grinder. The first start is pretty bad because you're just kind of put in a room and you're just getting shot by a firing squad. It's really inhumane, but I started to find out more of the mechanics of flash mode. So if you like hit an enemy onto another enemy, it can uh, kill someone else. So like if I aim in the right direction and fling one dude into another, they can die. But I don't know how useful that will be. I mean, maybe in like large uh, enemy settings, but like, early on, nah, I don't think it'll be too useful. I also killed the swords machine through the wall, which, uh... Like... Oh! I hit him! Is that gonna... Is that gonna bug the game out? I've never seen that. I don't, I don't think that does anything to the... The kills, should it? Interesting, we still got a B for kills. I must have missed an area. Whatever, doesn't matter. O-3 wasn't too terrible. The beginning was really easy. You just had to jump on some uh, Phil's head and then you just break through this wall. I thought you needed this shotgun, but you don't have to leave flash mode at all, which is really nice. There was one room that wasn't the nicest. There was some schisms and strays just just shooting at you from a distance. Really not fun stuff. I did find out though, you can just walk past them. Yep, this is gonna be a this is gonna be fun. Can I just skip him? Oh okay, we skipped him. We skipped him. Let me through. Oh, thank god. After all that stuff, going up the stairs, you just had to fight the sword machine boss, and uh, that's just a complete joke to be honest. Easy peasy guys. Another easy boss. Alright. Three restarts. Not terrible. Oh four. Probably one of the most harmless levels in normal ultra kill, but in clash mode. My gosh, the start of this level is the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life. I died, I died by fucking little goobers. This is the start of the run where you realize that the stray are a lot more powerful than you think, especially when they're placed in positions that aren't exactly the nicest for clash mode. But after realizing that I needed to take them out first, there was some other surprise that I was not expecting. Sweet. Oh my gosh. No! When, since when does that guy spawn in there? It sounds like a skill issue, I don't know about you guys, but what I did start to realize is a little bit of a route. You kill the one individual and then you go up to the other two strays and take them out and then you gotta take out Maurice. If you don't take Maurice out, you're pretty much just dooming your entire run. And then after that I realized you could just sit in these little corners, try to take him out and that was that room. I was very happy about that because uh, the checkpoint is right after that. That was at least 15 or 20 restarts. How many was that? It's not gonna tell me. That took way too long, way too long. Towards the end of this level, there is one room that does seem kind of intimidating, but if you just go towards the lower deck, you can actually bait the stray as well as the schisms if that's even what they're called, I, I don't even know. <laughs> but you could bait them out and then just combo them. There's just a bunch of filth that spawn in. It's pretty easy peasy, 
and that is the end of that level yeah 04 definitely the most difficult one even though it says two minutes that's because i was at the start of the round so every time i died it kept restarting so it didn't take two minutes it was more like 20. 05 the last level of the prelude maybe i can Okay, I thought I, I thought I could wall jump. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go around the long way. That I did, but this was just patty parkour at this point. And then leading into the boss fight room. I mean, come on. Like I said, and I predicted it earlier, the boss fights are literally the easiest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, sweet. There's the prelude. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I got a feeling there's going to be a far worse coming ahead. By far the easiest level out of all of them. Which is kind of ironic because it's the last one. Well guys, we did it. We made it to Limbo with the first level, Heart of the Sunrise. This is where stuff really starts to get sad. Like I start to get really demotivated because of garbage like this. If two drones are next to each other, you just blow up and die. Uh, as well as they just like to spaz a, a lot. And it's very difficult in Clash mode to actually hit them. You'll be seeing a lot more frustration from the drones. And I also discovered this. Those guys are interesting because you can't have them near a wall or another drone, or whatever they're fucking called. Cause then, yeah, that happens, okay. Wait, I don't, oh no, no. This is when I discovered the tactic of running like a baby. You don't have to do half these rooms, you don't have to fight all these enemies. Most of the time you can just run to the next checkpoint, which is what I have been doing and will be doing for the rest of this run. Is it a bitch move? Yes, of course it is. Is it the wise move for your sanity? Yeah, it, it definitely is. Again, a lot of these rooms you can just pass through, which is what I did up until the very end of this level. It's a skull, checkpoint. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun section, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> Who is shooting me? Wait, wait. I'm getting spawn trapped. Get out of here. I definitely felt some Call of Duty Nuketown PTSD in this level, especially towards the end. Uh, I just started to draw the enemies out, which was completely irrelevant because you can just pass through this area into the next one. So uh, I started doing that. And after I found that out, I was like, oh, thank God. But then I realized what I was up against in this last room. It's it's not fun. It's, it's really bad. Killing these two guys first definitely is easier, but after that, it's kind of RNG if I can go and kill these guys without getting sniped to death. Quick scoping is what they were doing because I was getting sniped like I was in a phase member's lobby. Dude, phase rain was doing trick shots on me. Phase, uh, phase Blaziken, just, just, he does those cringe TikToks now, so I don't really want to mention his name anymore, but here's the end. It's just a bunch of drones. They're all grouped up. You're not. Where's the last guy? Oh, 1v1, buddy. There we go. I said buddy, I think. Oh, thank God, that's over. How many restarts? I don't. 21? Not bad. I died a lot more, but. 1 just 2 had a really solid start. It just had some decent parkour at the beginning, and then you transition into another room with a checkpoint right before it. You kill some filth, you kill a couple drones. The real problem started to occur once street cleaners started to pop up and uh, I started to have some problems with them. All right, time for the street cleaner lore. Oh, my favorite, man, my favorite. Give me that skull, get me out of here. See ya, I don't want any part of this. Get me out of here. And give me that checkpoint. Actually, do I go for the rat? Where are you at, buddy? Down here? I forget which hall, yep, yeah, there he is. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry this uh, is gonna have to happen, buddy. Okay, come on. I can't kill him. Do I have to slide into him? Well, that's kind of awkward. All right, well, you you guess, I guess you get to live. <laughs> See you, man. Sadly, I couldn't kill the strongest enemy in Ultra Kill, which is all right, because the next room has four street cleaners and a couple of drones. And then after that, there are a bunch of stray that spawn above you, and they just snipe the living hell out of you. I also, some really weird bugs occur during this. Cancer's rodent? Wait, why am I getting this text right now? All right, maybe the strat is to jump up here, spawn them in and then hide will they move that's the real question no they will not okay so we actually have to go up there oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy after a couple of attempts i started to get the hang of moving from side to side and taking the lowest stray out and then moving to the tallest ones that was that ending was pretty bad but it wasn't as bad as the other couple levels 
It was pretty bad, but it wasn't that it wasn't that bad, you know. Wow, glad to see my third grade vocabulary still holds up tight. This level, the third level in Act 1, wasn't too terrible. Okay, you can run past a lot of these enemies. This was the only room that kind of gave me trouble, because I got balled out. But that's fine, because if you just stand next to him, you can fling him into God's Shadow Realm. He's just gone completely. I will say there are some rooms that you wouldn't expect to be difficult, like this one with the, the water on the sides. Just because there are some weird enemy placements, as well as it's just, there's just drones. The drones are just so bad, and I somehow evaded death there. I then killed Maurice, and then headed to the boss room. We're done with the level already. Nice. Easy peasy. Again, the boss fights are a nice little break. It's like dog rounds and zombies, pretty much. 1-4. It's just the first fight with V2. Nothing needs to be said here. If you like Mario Bros, you're gonna like this one. Watch this shit. Boom. He's dead. That's all it took. I didn't even mean to do that. I'll be honest. Wow. That that was the <laughs> that was the whole fight. <laughs> I didn't even mean to to do damage to him there, but I guess uh, a, but a head head stomps do an instant kill. Nice. Even on bosses. Alright guys, two dash one bridge burner. My least favorite map in Ultra Kill. I know controversial opinion, but I will say for this challenge, the start room was pretty annoying, just because you can't see how much dash storage you have. So I often ran out and fell down below. But I found out that you can kind of bypass some enemies here. Okay, what if I jump up here? And that way they- Okay, genius. Speedrun strat right there. If it does get cemented in the speedrunning books, call that shit common sense because everyone would have done that. It's nothing special. The end of Bridge Burner was just- Oh, I love the end, man. It was just so much fun. It felt like that one, uh, the one app called Doodle Jump, except it's just one jump and it's pretty much impossible to do. Well, not really, because I did it. But there's just a lot of enemies firing at you, and they're just far enough where you can't hit them. It's so annoying. Oh my gosh, they're just at the right height to be annoying. Oh. No way. Get me up here. Sure, we're just going all the way. Oh god. Get me up, get me up. Right at the very end. No! Yep, that's right, whine about it. Now, what happened before that I didn't realize is if the barrel blows up, you gotta restart the whole map. You can't even restart a checkpoint. You just gotta restart. It's so annoying. However, I did find out there's glass there. So I kind of bypassed Maurice and we're all good. So that's the end of the level. Bridge burner was pretty tough. I will say that. Just because of that little barrel that if it blows up, you gotta restart, sadly. 2-2. Two -two. This is death at 2,000 volts. If you watch your friend do this challenge, this is around the time when you're gonna start preying on their downfall just because of how annoying this level is for this challenge. There are a total of six fuse boxes you have to break around the map. The first three being these ones, which normally isn't an issue, but they're in really high locations and just decent spots, and there's multiple of them. So there's a strategy that you have to kind of figure out to eliminate them. That is so, such a, why I love your positioning, man. If this was Call of Duty and you were my teammate. I'm making a run, I'm making a run, I'm making a run. No! no. <laughs> please, 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 please. Where's the checkpoint? Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Now, unlike other maps, there are some barrels that are placed around to help you jump, but for some reason, this level isn't very sparing on those. So these next three fuse boxes, you got to get creative how to get up there. You'll notice that when you start, there's a couple of enemies just right in front of you that you need to eliminate. And then if you keep moving through the map, there's going to be a Maurice, which you can just hit through the wall. But there's actually another one that's hidden at the top when you hit one of the fuse boxes that's really difficult to get to. And I was just sitting there trying to hypothesize how to get up there and luckily i dodged the maurice and somehow thanks to god's will i was able to dodge all those shots get the last fuse box and finally leave the place here's my last run to the exit i thought i was dead but somehow i didn't get hit by all 50 drones all 20 soldiers schisms and then just maurice which you'll find out he's probably the hardest enemy to kill oh my gosh two dash two that's definitely one of the worst endings to a level, by far. 2-3 wasn't too difficult until I got towards the end, as well as this middle portion here. Absolutely nothing can prepare you for the influx of enemies that spawn out of nowhere. Pretty sure I can just stand in this little spot and just take them all out. Oh, my bad, sorry. 
I didn't realize fire went through walls like that. So once you get the first wave of enemies down, you're left with a flying Maurice just pelting you with bolts left and right. I think what makes this portion so difficult and why it took me so many restarts I believe it took around 15 to 20 is the positioning there's no good spot to stand in this area i know there's a spot where you can slide under but you need to kill the enemies to leave so sitting behind that glass panel seemed to work best after that i went back towards the middle and put the skull in and my strategy was just to stay behind these crushers they did most of the killing until i saw three soldiers up here but there's no good way to actually get them you just kind of have to bum rush them and hit one into the others and then after that of course i went back to the crushers and everything was fine and dandy now surprisingly in the last room the mind flare wasn't giving me as many issues as i thought it would it was actually the drones that were flying around and the terrain that you had to fight them in it just made it very difficult to slide and hit them it's probably because there's just no there's no like good way to slide into them because of the stupid Railing, dude. Oh my gosh, there's just one little fucker. Thank fucking god. Holy shit. God, what a cock of a level. Unsurprisingly, 2-4 was really easy because it's another boss level. All you have to do is just wait for this hand to pop up, which originally I didn't think it would actually be possible to do, but literally as it's just trying to give you a high five, you just slap it right away. And the same thing kind of goes for the actual fight itself except the ending looks really really weird okay man just tried to give me the biggest bro fist of pewdiepie's career did not work probably the easiest level for sure three dash one this level if you were doing this challenge is where i can guarantee 90 percent of the player base would drop off and they would give up and not continue doing it because this level is just ridiculous. Every single portion, besides like one or two, is extremely difficult. And by extremely difficult, I mean there are multiple phases per room, there are minimum checkpoints, and the enemies are just absolutely brutal. This first section has acid on the ground, um, from because you're like in his stomach. But there's a mine flare and a bunch of stray, and then after that, you just have the three uh, stone hedge battle, which is just really easy. And then you have this staircase. Now you have to navigate around this staircase just right because you want to try to minimize the amount of interactions you see. But again, not too bad. And then you get to this room. I can't explain how difficult this room is and where the next checkpoint is. I think this took me over 45 minutes in total for this entire level and I'd argue that 30 to probably all 40 of that is probably spent in this room. It's absolutely terrible. There are two phases to the first original room but after you get those three Maurice's spawn in and they are absolutely brutal. It took me I maybe had like a solid 30 attempts on the three Maurice's and half the time I didn't even get to kill one of them. It is complete luck to kill them and it is ridiculous. Here's just one of the attempts that I got after probably I probably 200 attempts at least. This is so nerve-wracking, dude. All right. She's coming. All right. Slide. There's that. Okay. Can I somehow draw these enemies to the acid? No. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's just these guys. Just three bolts. One, two, three. No. <laughs> I was absolutely devastated to say the least. So another 60 to 4,000 attempts go by at this. I'm losing track of time, like in real life. Like I don't even know what day it is. I finally get this run and I was just beyond relief. You can hear the dopamine just getting released from my brain. Here it is. We got it. Oh my gosh, we fucking got it. All right, how bad is this room? Well, I'll tell you, this room definitely wasn't fun, but whatever I just went through, nothing can compare to it. So this room was literally a cakewalk, as in it took me 20 more attempts. But I will say it's not as bad as fighting Maurice's, okay? The Mind Flayer is not bad, and you just bait these guys out. You wait until they're at the door, and there you go. That is 3-1. Oh my, no, no fucking way. That took 44 minutes. 150. 15 restarts well we're on the last level finally i had never been so relieved to want to fight gabriel ever in my life if i'll be honest it was actually more difficult 
parkouring and traversing through the map than actually fighting Gabriel here. The third person view had some really buggy things. If you unslid, you'd end up jumping over the map and I actually fell through the map and then the game bugs so then I had to restart. It was a mess. But here's the final Gabriel fight and my last reaction to this whole challenge. At least act one that is. Wow. Well, that is the entirety of Act 1. Wow. Guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making this video a bit longer than what I'm used to. I will be doing Act 2 as well as the secrets from Act 1 and P1, even though I think we all can kind of guess how P1's going to go. Well, you know what? Well, whatever. But yeah, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to get um, more garbage. Um, you can You can leave now. Like, I'm not... I'm not holding you hostage here. Just leave the, just click off the video. It's not, okay. If you're going to do this, just leave a like and okay. Okay, goodbye.